the inspiration came um, being raised by my mom, my grandmother, aunties, um, and neighborhood moms, um, watching them in the whole beauty of it all, um, getting beautified on a weekly basis or bi-weekly, um, and then just seeing the, the attitude change, the transformation, um, to go from sad to happy instantly um, type of a thing. So being raised in that environment, it caused me to want to do it. Um, I went to school in 93, so I've been in the industry for 18 years now. Um, I got my start again assisting um, cousins as a little shampoo boy and, and progressing forward. Um, going to school, getting educated, um, coming out with um, you know, the zeal to really, really go full force into the industry. And I, even to this day, I find myself wanting to do more and go further, educate myself, um, license myself, keep my license together. Um, it's very important in this industry. Um, it, it gives you the, the solidity that you are a professional. You are um, the decision maker. You are the attitude changer, in my opinion. Um, I draw inspiration actually from their lifestyle. Um, I have stay-at-home moms, I have attorneys, I have performers, I have uh, uh, backup singers. So it, it's really determined by who I'm working on at that time. Um, of course, I wouldn't give a stay-at-home mom something that she couldn't maintain. I wouldn't give a performer something that looks mediocre. Um, so it's, it's all based on lifestyle for me. And it's also based on where you are in your uh, decision process for what you can maintain. Um, I have clients that come monthly, I have clients that come weekly, I even have two or three clients that come every other day uh, because they're performers. So I, I keep all those things in mind um, when we're going forward and making decisions based on just those possibilities and those circumstances currently. Um, Carly Mandrell is, is really getting itself out there as far as family television. I'm looking to, to break into that industry full force. Um, I have a vision and a goal in mind for the next three years to be that go-to guy um, uh, when it comes to production, when it comes to interviews, when it comes to red carpet events, that sort of thing. I'm really looking to break out um, from behind the chair, so to speak and more so into hotel styling, as they say in the industry, um, and, and being that guy that uh, a celebrity is confident with, um, the confidentiality statements and stuff like that, and just being Mandrell, um, not so much the hair extraordinaire that you see today, but just Mandrell is my stylist type of dude. That's what I'm looking forward to.